All right, so here we are opening the two wax packs here. Here's 19, uh, 1993 uh, Donruss, and there are two series, but we got series one. But it does say um, in the description that the uh, packs, any packs in series one or series two could have um, the Will Clark signature. No one else, we won't have that luck, but it'll still be fun. So here we go, the first, uh, the first one, the 1993 Donruss Series 1 pack. It's white, got some blue pinstripes across the front, says Donruss 1993 Edition Series 1. 14 baseball cards, and at this point, um, these were officially uh, licensed by Major League Baseball at that time. It changed now, but uh, at that point they were. Um, it also says Leaf on it as well. Leaf and Donruss kind of go hand in hand together at that time especially. So here we go. Make it nice and easy there. And before I show you the first card, our person that won, Jeff Tillman. Jeff Tillman. We'll get a hold of you, Jeff, and um, hopefully you want to open some baseball cards. If you don't, then we'll just put them back in the pot and give them away to somebody else at some point. But thanks for uh, tuning in and thanks for your support. We appreciate it. I know Jeff from where I, when I used to teach at Heber Springs High School over in Heber Springs, Arkansas. What a guy. Great guy. Great friend. So, Jeff, you got lucky. You get some awesome baseball cards and wax packs. All right. So here we go. So these look, they're pretty cool looking cards here. They got the white border. This is Terry Mulholland. And sorry if there's a little glare. And it's got the name on the bottom. They're, uh, he's a left-handed pitcher, so it's got their position they play and then it says what team they play for and the diamond down there on the side at the bottom and then it says Donruss 93 at the top corner. And then on the back it has another color photo which is awesome and uh, that was really good. These these took some really they took some really good pictures here. Um, and then it has recent major league statistics again with Donruss a lot of times they just put the last five years. It looks like that they that's what they did on here. That might might have been that's all Terry had played since then but probably only five years recent major league statistics. So Terry Mulholland, Milt Kyler, Bob Patterson, Jeff Montgomery, Alex Fernandez, he had some good years as a pitcher for the Sox. Thomas Howard for the Tribe, I can remember him playing. Wasn't great, but I can still remember to go in the games when he was there. Kurt Stillwell. If anybody has any stories about any of these players, especially Kurt, you can always um, text in, uh, comment, or whatever. It would be great uh, to get some of your stories or anything you know about these players. I like to learn, too. Mike Henneman. Steve Decker. Man, what a pack so far. Yikes. Shane Mack. A cool name. Keith Shepard. Alan Embry. It's another tribesman. Two tribesmen in one pack. Man. That was a year before I think they were really good. 94. Or what I think there was a... Kurt can tell me this probably. I think 94 was the strike shortened season. And that was the year that the Indians were really good. And then I think they cut the league short and uh, or the year short and didn't have a World Series that year and they had the chance to kind of win it all that year but I could be wrong Curtis let me know Paul Wagner and the best name ever for a pitcher Jay Baller what a baller <laughs> all right that's the uh, Donruss 1993 series one pack now here's the little uh, mini pack okay so here's the other card so we've got that's a regular size card, and then this is the, the League Leaders pack. It's so much smaller. So we're going to see some cards from 1986, uh, the statistical leaders from the year before. It says the super glossy baseball cards, 25 cents. How about that? Six picture cards. All right. Oh, the back of them look cool. Wow. So cool. 86, 96, 2006, 2016. 2000, so 35 years old. Wow, that's crazy. All right, now, these are a little bit, uh, they're glossy, so they could be stuck together. I'm kind of feeling that right now. So some of them may have, you know, not be in good shape because that glossiness after 34 years or 35 years, 
they may stick to each other. So we're gonna go nice and easily, but I want you to see if it if it does stick. Here's the first card. It's like a spring fever baseball win a trip to for four to the 87 spring training camp of the team of your choice sweepstakes. So I guess you can't win that anymore. <laughs> All right, nice and easy. So we got it off there, and it does look like there might be. This is a great effect. There might be a little bit. It's hard for you to see that on there, but if I'm looking really closely, I think a little bit of it of the gloss ripped off there. And sometimes you can take this, um, if you watch the YouTube part right now, um, or turn over to it, you can take a brick like this and kind of put them straight down onto the uh, a hard area, as long as you don't hit the um, corners, and some people don't like to do that. There's some other ways people say um, to get them unstuck. I'm not sure of all of them. Might be something with a freezer, but that always scares me. But I have tried this before to try to get them to loosen up because they seem like they're seem like some of them are sticking together. So I'm going to do that. So it's going to go straight down. So I did that. I got the back one to come off. Looks like. Yep. Oh no, there's two together with that still. Sheesh. All right. See. All right. Now they're coming apart. It looks like it might still have a little bit of stick. Not too bad, but it still does have a little stick. Jimmy Key. So. Looks like that one's a little bit off center. So this is what the 1986, um, there, there was a subset in the 86 tops regular sized card set that looked like this. Um, but they were, the backs were different too, but the front kind of looked like that. And then the back were pink, and it says the league leader thing that they did. So ERA, he was number four with the 3.0 ERA. So the pink back looks pretty cool. Jimmy Key. Next we have Glenn Wilson. He was fifth and runs batted in. Can't believe that. I'm going to go through all these. He was fifth and runs batted in with 102 and ranked second in doubles in 39 and 39. Can't believe that. Glenn Wilson, wow. All right, we got some more here that look like they might be stuck a little bit together. Right, we've helped a little bit. We got Mike Smithson. It says he was fourth in shutouts with three shutouts. Pretty awesome. And he was number one in games started with 37. Keith Hernandez, great hitter. Great hitter. Keith was uh, number one in game-winning RBIs with 24. Now that's clutch. Fifth in doubles with 34. And number six in batting average with 309. On-base percentage, he was six with 384. And number eight in hits with 183. Wow, nice year, Keith Hernandez. He could hit. And then here we go. This is a great card that I got. Two good cards in a row. Love this. I just watched a documentary on Daryl and Doc. It's pretty sad what they all went through, but um, Dwight Gooden, man, that guy was amazing. If he just would have stayed away from drugs and alcohol, unbelievable. He could have been one of the best pitchers of all time. I mean, he was still amazing. Even when he came back and he pitched a no-hitter for the Yankees when he came back. And if you watch that documentary when his dad um, wasn't feeling well and he's in the hospital, he's like, he'd want me to pitch. And he pitched a no hitter. Then he went and saw his dad, but his dad ended up passing away. And it was the last game that he listened to or saw him pitch um, when he pitched the no hitter. So it was a pretty cool story, but he still has some, has trouble with drugs. He's just a, he's an addict and we pray for him and hope that everything gets better as he keeps um, going through his journey of life. So he had, he was number one in victories in 85 because this is an 86 card, um, 24. And then he had he was number one in ERA, 1.53 strikeouts, number one, 268 complete games, number one with 16 and shutouts, number two with eight. Unbelievable. If you can see that on the YouTube part of the podcast, read those stats. Unbelievable. So good. And, you know, then the next year, they won it all, 1986, I believe. Then the last card from the 1986 Tops Major League Leaders minis, we have Brett Saberhagen. He, had, he was number two in victories with 20. And number three in ERA with 2.87 ERA. And he had a great year. I think they might have won it in 85, right? Um, somebody tell me that. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's all running together. I think they won it in 85. And I could be wrong. And then the Mets won it in 86. But let me know if I'm right or wrong about that, especially you, Curtis. I know you'll know. Um, but comment some way on YouTube or um, any of our ways you can get a hold of us. So there are the two packs, and uh, we're going to finish up the podcast and uh, thank you thank y'all for joining in.